Hello, welcome back to Fractal Teaches CS. I'm Kate Fractal, and today we're going to look at files in Twine. Um, you may have been wondering, uh, will Twine save my files automatically? Is it automatic? Is it? Do I need to save? Is it? Is there auto save? Um, you may also be wondering, how do I share my stories once I finished with them? Um, you may be following up because I said, hey, remember to click that archive button, um, and you wonder what that is. I'm hoping you're not here because you have a screen like the one I have right here that says zero stories and you're sad because you have written some stories and they're not there and they're gone. I'm hoping you're not in that situation. If you are, I'm very sorry. This video will show you how to avoid that situation. In order to do that, we're going to take a little look at um, some reference material about where files are stored on the computer, get some background, and then I will actually take you through downloading, file, recovering. Um, so in Twine, your stories are saved on your computer. Um, and they're saved specifically in what's, the, what's called the browser cache. Now, cache, you might not know this word. It's sort of, um, you might think of a treasure cache. Um, it's, it's a place where something's stored. Uh, if you think of, if you've heard of geocaching, that's another case where this word shows up. Um, I think about it like, um, a purse or a backpack, a grab bag, right? I have I have here a physical representation of a cache. Um, this is my drawing bag, and right, and if I look in it, well, it's got my it's got my drawing notebook. It's it's got some colored pencils. It's got some regular drawing pencils. It's got some other stuff. Uh, it's got an eraser, um, right? And so if I want to go and sketch, I just grab this whole bag, boom, and I go, and it's great. Um, Sometimes somebody will look at one of your bags and say, that bag is a mess. It's over full. It's got too much stuff in it. Um, and they're like, okay, well, you take it, you got to take it all out and you clean it up, right? So I clean it up. Uh, that, what have I got here? I've got a, I've got a drawing pencil. That's good. Um, what else have I got in here? Um, ah, I have a little strip of paper. What is this? Oh, that's a very old to-do list. I don't need that anymore. So uh, sometimes it is useful to clean these out and I can put my things back. Unfortunately, if your computer is cleaning out your browser cache, it may not realize that you want to hold on to those twine stories that are stored there, which is why I tell people to use the archive button. So for a reminder, we look at twine, the archive button um, is over here underneath the um, import from file. Import from file is how you get your files back. So since I'm in this unfortunate state, um, we're going to get my files back. I need to go to where my file is. I have it stored here in Twine files. So I have an archive. I'm gonna drag that archive directly into Twine. Um, and I get my stories back. You can also use import from file and then do some file browsing. Do that to get this twine archive back uh, but it's got some duplicates so i don't want to do that um what this looks like is going to look a little different depending on what computer you're using um like whether you're using a windows computer or a mac or a chromebook um and also different depending on what browser you're using i'm using chrome if you're using safari it might look different if you're using edge it'll look different if you're using firefox it, it could be different um i'm going to recommend that you don't use Twine with Safari, precisely because uh, if you click archive, rather than just getting a nice file that just downloads, uh, it will actually try and open that file and it's kind of a mess. Um, so uh, you can take those archive files, you can upload them to Google Drive, you can upload them to Dropbox, um, any tool you use for keeping them. Uh, the other thing you may want to do is if you have stories and you're, you know, rather than saving all of your stories, you may want to send just one story, right? I've got some stories here that I are just a mess, like I'm just trying to play around with stuff. And there's other ones where I might be like, oh, wait, this is actually really good. I would like to share it with somebody. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to use publish to file. We're going to publish to a file. And then the file is going to be a uh, HTML file, hypertext markup language. Um, and that's going to be something that we can uh, send by email, um, post on a website. Uh, you can upload those to itch.io if you want to like publish it everywhere. 
Um, there are two ways to do this. One is from this screen where I have all of my stories. If I click the gear for a story, the option that actually pops up right there is publish to file. That story downloads. If you're inside a story, right, inside the story, um, you can click on the title of the story. Well, bottommost option is publish to file. We click there and we get that. Um, and you can open these and actually, you know, see what they're. Uh, so that's it for how you make files and formats. Uh, and thank you for tuning in. Have a good day.